number of people, like we say, of concern has uh, multiplied, women and men, and this is uh, a staggering figure, the highest uh, that has existed since the Second World War. There may be no simple solution, there is no magic wand, but there are a lot of things that we could and should be doing to make things better. To make things better for, above all, the people who are suffering so much, who are the migrants themselves. Under the 1951 Convention and the preamble, which all the countries in the world effectively that we're talking about are signatories to, refugees are the responsibility of the world. We would like to have a better situation for refugees and migrants who know that when, when they arrive somewhere as refugees or move somewhere as migrants, that they're received well, um, that they're seen as, as an asset. Uh, migrants, there's no doubt. There's all the, all the statistics you want will show you uh, that countries need migrants. I think people sometimes have to be reminded that migrants are very a very positive uh, element in society. Most of our countries are made of migrants, and most of us have come from some generations, at least, of migrants. The global humanitarian and refugee crisis calls for an urgent and comprehensive response from the international community. And the UN General Assembly is trying to live up to this obligation. We need, need better answers how to secure the rights of both refugees and migrants, and how we will find a more stable and more generous funding system in this world to deal with the increased amount of humanitarian catastrophes. Let us do all we can to provide people in the most desperate circumstances with a measure of safety and a sense of hope.